It's been a couple of weeks since the British Drift Championship, round one, where we finished second. Um, really happy with how we did and everything. And since then, it's all been like really, really busy and I haven't really had a chance to film anything with the S15 and the 14. And um, I've been out and done a music video for a guy called Swarms, Crepton Conan, Conan and Band Decay. Um, where we had to like strip the car down, uh, took all the stickers off again, so I'm gonna have to re-sticker the car ready for round two. And yeah, I've managed to film a little bit of the track that we were driving around. For the only time I'll be allowed to film, man. It's the closest thing I've ever driven in the UK to the Abisu Touche circuit. God, I couldn't even say it. Um, and it was a track called Millbrook where they filmed some of like the James Bond and it's like a massive test circuit. So yeah, it was absolutely wild. So yeah, that's what I've been sort of doing in between round one and coming up to round two-ish soon. And yeah, basically today we're gonna to concentrate on getting the S15 all finished. Uh, we're gonna get the brakes bled, um, check the clutch over, cause we've got the clutch sort of working. There's a few little bits left to do. Um, but yeah, we wanna get it rolling back on all four wheels because we're actually come to the end of the rental on this shed now where we were kind of expecting to have a car done, finished, and obviously it takes longer than what you think with everything else going on. So yeah, I've decided that now is the time to get out of here and get back into my um, my other sort of slightly smaller unit, which is where I've built all my other cars and everything else. So yeah, it's, uh, it's that time where I need to get it finished. Well, finished, rolling, but we're gonna get it rolling today, get it out of here and hopefully finish it off, but we'll see. We just need some kind of brake. Just so the car does set off and it'll crash into everything. Where the f is that coming from? What the f ah, it's running fing down that, look. Dripping onto the arm there and running down there. Chase it, leaky brake lines. This is not good. We're not good at all. I must have taken that one. Surely to God. Why? Right. Wouldn't I tighten that one? Start with. Was was slack as. Well, that was. Very silly of me. We just finished up bleeding the brakes and turns out I hadn't actually tightened anything up. So we had leaks. I think every single joint was leaking. So we've been right through everything now. We've actually got a little bit of a brake pedal. Um, still got a little bit of a leak on the hydro, but that can work for now. It means that I might not crash when I move it. So we're gonna chuck some wheels on and yeah, get it out the door, but everything's Stop leaking. No, it hasn't. It's still leaking. Probably gonna have to do some more of this. Hate breaks. Right, so if 
nothing else, there's nothing to catch. So, like, should be just a case of just get it out of here, then we can. Scared? First drive. Scared? Scared? Okay. Insulation. Cardboard. Right, okay. Well, I think that's it. Okay, go for it. Scared. Fueling to death. That's cool, though, isn't it? She's out. She's out. It's working. It's running. It's driving. That's strange. Strange feeling. She's a smoky boy. Ah! Look at it. Oh my God. So we've got the S15 out of the old shed now and back in here. Um, the first time driving it, actually nothing fell off it, which is quite good considering all the brake pipes and everything was leaking. And I didn't actually have any brakes, which was quite scary because I was just expecting it to run off from me. But yeah, we finally got it in here. We're just gonna shift everything across. And in the meantime, I need to get the 14 ready for the British Drift Championship next weekend, which is coming up. So probably gonna do a few things to this now, get this set up ready to go because um, I have to change the setup a little bit when I do uh, filming jobs and, you know, with the music video and everything and just basically turn everything off. So I have to turn everything back on, but we'll go through that now. We're gonna give it a service. So we're gonna put some fresh Lucas oil in, um, new filters, um, drain all the fuel out, put some fresh 109 in, and yeah, just basically get this thing ready now to do some damage, which it does. So we're just letting the oil drain out now. So we ran the engine up to temperature, it lets all the oil sort of like flush out and make sure there's nothing left in there. We'll whip the filter off as well, um, get that off, fresh filter on, then throw some fresh Lucas 20 watt 50 into the engine so we know that that's all ready to go. Um, another thing I want to do is just sort of a check that I do before I go to competitions and everything is do a bit of a, a smoke test on all the intake system to make sure I've got no boost leaks or 
you know, like these silicons and stuff, they can go heat cycle, they go hard and they can start leaking. So we're gonna check that. I know I've got a couple of wobbly rose joints on the back that I noticed at the last Three Sisters practice day. So I'm gonna get onto them. We'll just whip them off, chuck some fresh ones on before we track it. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of a list of things to do, but it's not, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Saying, what are you saying? Straight in. No, no funnel. In. No messing. Ah. Oh. oh my god. I don't think I was breathing then. On there, but yeah, we're pretty good there, aren't we? Do with a little bit more touch. Hold your breath. Done. That's it. And then we look for leaks. You see any? Always get a little bit out of the wastegate for some reason, but that's not even much actually. I've seen worse. So, the rest of it. All the housing and the turbo is all right. Check all down here. All the wastegate lines look all right. Boost controller. It's all good. That's all sound. Remember when we did it and the throttle body was falling apart? Oh, yeah, now I remember. Yeah. I think that's the only time I've seen it, though. Yeah. Other than that, I think that's all alright. That's all good. No leaks. Because you'd see that wherever it was coming out. It's literally not coming out of anywhere. Sweep. Off. Done. What the hell? Could have been another moment. Could have been another moment. Did it go bang? No, it just popped. Hey. Uh, I didn't have the shaft tight. That would not have been good. That's not good that they're coming loose. That's just that camera out there. Yeah, I can feel it. Sound. That one's goosed. Right, sound. Camber on. Off the arm. Ow! Head. 
Ew. You can see where it's had a bit of pain. Yeah, that's not good. Shouldn't be able to spin that round like that. Really, not that easy anyway. That's goosed. Right, sad. So, new joint on there. We'll pull the other side off as well. Drop them both off. Can't show you too much in here. It's all the secrets, isn't it? Or oh, what secrets? Right, camber arms are off and the little bit of play I could feel in the back end was actually these rose joints. So these have actually been on for quite a while now and generally they do wear out. I do try and leave the boots on them, that drift works in with you, because it does make them last a little bit longer. But yeah, these are pretty, pretty tired. So two new rose joints in here, maybe I'll check the other rose joints as well now that I'm here and yeah so we'll get them thrown on now and then it's ready to be tracked up. Yeah this video has been a little bit of a, a mix and match of everything that's been going on in between moving into the new shed, new old shed and getting the 14 back down here and sorting that out ready for the British Drift Championship. We sorted out all the rear arms and stuff and any sort of loose bits and yeah it's pretty much ready for tracking. I was going to show you the tracking but you know, I know that McKeever watches these videos and I know that he'll try and steal my settings, so I'm not gonna show him that. You know, I've gotta hide some bits. And I've got some of them tires he's got as well that I'm saving them. I'm saving them for you. And even Quinny, even Quinny, man, he's been messaging me, asking what settings my car is and that. I'm not telling you, mate, I'm not telling you. But yeah, anyway, we've got this car ready now, pretty much. And in the next couple of weeks, the 15 is really really close like i don't think i was actually happy enough before when i was actually driving it i think i was more terrified that it was moving so the fact that it's running driving on wheels and yeah pretty much ready to go for mapping that's a lie it's nearly ready to go for mapping but yeah we're gonna get it together tie up the final few bits we've actually got andy frost coming pretty soon to finish um, the intercooler and a few of the bits at the front and the exhaust as well because I hate the exhaust because it comes out the wrong side of the car why would somebody do that but we already know why so that happened as well but yeah so there's a few things I want to change and yeah it's kind of been all over the place but yeah and it's late and here goes going home let's go on <laughs>